Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new predictions video. After nine months of no predictions, we've decided to bring it back to you today and give you the 2018 TLC predictions. I'm joined by Flame and Fred. What's going on, guys? It is. It, 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 it is Flame. Yeah, Flame, you are the reason. You Flame was just out of the blue. Why don't we do this anymore? So... We decided to do it. Hashtag blame flame. <laughs> it's going to be a train wreck of a video, guys. It's going to be 30 minutes because there's 50 matches on the card. So let's get straight into it. Match number one, we got Jinder Mahal, Alicia versus R-Truth and Carmella. This match has humongous stakes on the line because you get number 30 in the Royal Rumble. But more importantly than that, you get... Um, a holiday, your trip, all expenses paid holiday. So this is uh this is a big one. This is a really big match. Flame, who do you have and why? I'll choose from Carmella because Alicia Fox ain't shouldn't be nowhere near the Royal Rumble, let alone number thirty. So. Okay. Fred? Yeah, I've also got Mella and R Truth because I feel like R Truth uh he's gonna run that whole number thirty gimmick, isn't he? And you're just gonna do something with it. Right. I'm also going with Truth and Mella for pretty much the same reason. I can see them doing a joke with our Truth where he enters the Women's Royal Rumble, and um, yeah, maybe maybe because of that he's not allowed to go into his Royal Rumble or something, um, or or he cut or he does. He finally makes it out to number thirty for the his Royal Rumble for the men's, and he gets attacked by. I don't care. <laughs> I was I was gonna say Adam Cole, but you know. That's a sick. But yeah, Truth and Mella as well. Uh, so yeah, next match. Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. Who do you have, Fred? Mm, I've got my boy Finn Balor. No way. Yeah, I love Finn Balor, dude. He's he's the boss. Day one. I think your heart's doing the talking here and not your brain, but... 100% <laughs> Who are you going with, Flame? Well, I mean... Yeah, go on, Fred. I was just going to say, maybe, like, Dolph gets in the way or something, you know, and Finn wins the match. That's it. That is interesting. That It could yeah, be. Yeah. It could be. Flame, who do you have? Drew McIntyre. Finn's already kind of got a one-up on him because he got Drew or lost against Dolph a few weeks back. So. Yeah. Sure. He's not really going to lose again after. Mm, definitely. I'm going Drew as well. Um, Mr. Pin Balor has just, you know, has has he gotten a win in the last couple months? I don't think so. He's not being really built up apart from that one episode of Raw two weeks ago. Drew's on His a. His last big win. When was that? Was exactly a year ago at the last TLC pay per view. So. Against AJ, of course. What a match that was. So, yeah, I'm going Drew as well. Let's move on to the next match, which is Bobby Lashley versus Elias. I'll go first on this one. I think Elias is going to win. Um, he's getting pushed. A big, big baby face. He needs that big baby face win. Um, he, yeah, Lashley went over strong on Raw. So, I'm going to go Elias. What do you guys think? Flame. Yeah, Elias as well, because dude's like one of the hottest faces in the company right now, and Bobby Lashley's pretty boring. And the fact that they've added Hells that yeah. guitar bit as a gimmick to the match. Well, so, good. it's a guitar on a ladder, right? Yeah, So suspended. So, what is the rule? Whoever smashes the guitar like, first wins, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. Okay. Fred? I think we're getting Lashley, Lashley, because I'm pretty sure that, um, what's his name, um, Leo Rush is going to interfere. Yeah, well, yeah, of I'm course. Yeah. Of course he will, he will have his moment, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next match is the Cruiserweight match. This could be match of the night, to be honest. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not. There are a lot of other good matches on the card, but it potentially could. Um, the reason I it might not is it just won't have much time, I don't think. 
Um, Cedric versus Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight Championship. Fred, who do you have and why? Buddy. I got good old Buddy. He's going to win this match, 100%. I don't see him losing mm -hmm. anytime soon. He's built up way too much hype. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? He's really good. Yeah. Uh, Fred, uh, Flame. Buddy, he ain't losing the title to Cedric, seeing as that's the person who he took it off. Right. So. Uh, I've got, yeah, just keep it nice and simple. I've got Buddy as well. Um, next match is um, Natalia versus Ruby Riot. Now, this match has had a bit of controversy around it because it's, of course, playing up on the real life um, you know, story of uh, Natalia losing her father a couple months ago. Um, for me, it's fair game. I think it's totally fine using a real life angle like that to promote a feud in WWE, especially that Jim, the Anvil Nighthawk, was also a wrestler. He understood what it meant. Um, I don't see Ruby winning, even though I think she should. I think it will be a feel good moment for Natalia, so my pick's Natalia. Flame. Much prefer Ruby Wright to win, obviously. Really like Ruby Wright, and Natalia's boring. But the after what happened on Raw, when uh, Ruby Wright brought out that table with Jim Neidhart on it mm -hmm. and said that that was the table she was going to put Natalia through, it's like, well, that's definitely not going to happen. They're not going to go that far. Like, they're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So Natalia's going to win because there ain't no way that they're mm -hmm. seriously going to put her through a table. Natty as well. In dead dance. Absolutely. Fred, who do you have, man? Yeah, I'm going to go... I'm going with Ruby on this one. Okay. I think she'll get the dub. Yeah, I just think, like, she's she's going to get her moment. Uh, another thing is, like, a lot of these uh, pay-per-views, like TLC and whatnot, they don't tend to be feel-good moments. So I can definitely see, like, an upset happening. Okay. Where the heel wins over the face. Yeah. I definitely think Ruby should win, so. Yeah, I hope, I've said Hopefully I, I she does. Win the match, yeah. Sure. All right, next up, we've got Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton in a chairs match. Um, one one of these matches had to have that stipulation, didn't they? Because it's TLC. Um, yeah. I think this is the best possible outcome that they got the chair match. Uh, I'm going to go with Rey. He hasn't had his big win yet since returning. Rey Mysterio is my pick. Fred, who do you have? Yeah, Rey is also my pick. I think... Um... Ray's had his big return. He needs that win to pick up some momentum after returning to WWE. It's not like if he's like a veteran dropping like a match to like a young gun. Randy Orton's pretty old himself, so yeah, it'll be a good fight. I think Ray wins the match. Interesting. And Flame, who do you have, man? Ray Mysterio, obviously, just come back. Needs a big, big win on pay per view. Plus, with Daniel Bryan now being a heel champ, I see Ray being positioned in the future to be. The number one contenders. Well. Interesting. I'd love to see Ray Bryant. That could be really interesting. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what we could do going forward. Right. Okay. So we've all got Ray on that. Is there any other match we all agreed on? Yeah, we all agreed on Truth and Mella. Okay. Right. Let's move on to one of the matches I'm most looking forward to, even though if this had a stipulation, it would be even better. I'd love to see a stipulation with these three tag teams. Um, but we don't. Uh, but it'll still be a good match. We got the Usos, we got the Bar, we got the New Day. Flame, who do you have and why? Usos. They've been building them back up for a while now. It's about time the Usos win back the titles. His day are the best tag team in the company. Yeah, they are. They are pretty great. How good was Sheamus and Cesaro's rap battle last week? If we're talking about like Sheamus and Cesaro themselves, hell no. But if we're talking about the battle, it was fire. The the vanilla ice like Shamey, Shamey. Was, really? It was, Come on, man. That oh, was, it was so cringe. It, it, but that's so what was cringe. so funny. They're a heel tag team. It's meant to be yeah. cringe. Like it was hilarious, man. But the Usos are fire though. Whereas they were just cringe. That term, like... that term buckle thing, man. That was pretty funny. <laughs> right. Anyways, so um, flame. You go Usos. Uh, when I say Us, I say no. I don't think so. I'm going with the New Day. Um, I don't want the, the New Day is the least. Um, the, yeah, I don't want the New Day of the three, but I think it's gonna be the New Day. So New Day. Fred, who do you have? This is really interesting because I actually think that with Cyborg and Sheamus are gonna win it. Interesting. 
Yeah, I think that they've built up the title a lot. They're uh, they're a really good comedy act. Uh, they bring a new aspect to the whole tag like mix as well, whereas it's not just the Usos and the New Day holding the title all the time, so I think they'll keep it for a while. Okay, okay. So, the yeah. bar for you. Um, yep. That's interesting. We all went with a, with, a, with a different outcome. Wonder what we'll do for the women's. Right, the next match on the card is Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax. I really don't care about this match. I'm not interested in it at all. I hope Ronda Rousey destroys Nia Jax, and for that reason, I'm going Ronda Rousey. Fred, who are you going for? I'd say we'd probably all agree in this. Ronda's not losing her streak to uh, to Nia Jax right before the new year. I'd of, say Ronda Of all people season. as well, you know, of all people. Yeah. Right, that's what I thought. Flame, who do you have? Ronda Rousey. No, you'd no, know. Are you, you serious? Ronda? Can't be. <laughs> not going Nia Jax? What? <laughs> You know if D2 was still here in these predictions, he would go Nia Jax. D2 always loved the controversy. Um, our next oh, match yeah. on the card, guys, is an interesting one. Will it happen? Won't it happen? Um, let's go with two predictions on this match. Will it be the face, the heel, so Braun, Corbin, or will it be Corbin versus uh, someone to replace Braun, or will it be just uh, a count out like they're building it to? Flame, I'll let you go first on this one. What do you think is going <clears> to <throat> happen? They'll start a count out. And uh, Bray will. Bray, okay. Because Interesting. Braun's apparently, Braun's apparently not fit to compete still. So. And Bray victory? I'm writing it down as Bray Wyatt then. So you get two, you get one point if it's Bray, and you get one point if the face wins, which is yeah, you know yeah, you you I think you know what I mean. Fred, who do you have? Honestly, I couldn't care about this match. Uh, <clears throat> this Braun this is Strowman, for control. I don't like him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Corbin, not really the biggest fan of him as of recently. Uh, Bray Wyatt, he just like I liked Bray Wyatt, and then he just kind of died out. Uh, I probably think they'll go with the whole like Braun Strowman is a big monster and he can fight through anything kind of thing. He'll so come through. Braun victory. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just go with Braun Strowman. All right, uh, I'm gonna go with Braun as well. I think I don't think he's like cleared to compete either. I think he's just gonna come down one power slam, one two three done. Um, yeah, he doesn't have to take a bump really. He can just work around it. Um, so I'm going to go Braun. Because then it will set up, obviously, Braun and Brock at the Rumble, surely. So, yeah. I've seen that match before. No. Oh, God, I really don't care about this match either, to be honest. But a match I do care about is this next one. Um, even though the build to it hasn't been as good as it should have been. We've got Dean Ambrose, we've got Seth Rollins, Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Fred, who do you have and why? Mm, Dean. I got Dean. New IC champ being crowned at TLC. Yeah, I can see Dean winning. He's uh, he's done well to build this new character of his and I can definitely see him winning the title okay. in this match. So from one Dean to another, Dean, aka Flame, who do you have? <clears throat> I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins. Really? Uh, I don't think Dean's got all that much momentum behind him right now. He's it's fell a bit stale the past. Well, oh, this Rollins. germaphobic um <laughs> character of his, you know, it's not bit, it's it's not the bit. most enticing one, is it? Yeah, it's weird, but it's he's just, definitely he's done well to, to do a one eighty. Yeah. Seth Rollins is one of the big things. Mm. Right, okay. You're sounding a bit quiet, by the way, Flame. If you could get closer to your mic, that'd be great. Um, I really don't know. I could... Seth Seth is the boy right now, isn't he? He's there. He's their main... He's not being built right now in the main event, but he's the one who could beat Brock Lesnar, I think, for the title if there's no Roman Reigns for the foreseeable future. So on that, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. God, this is no. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm going with Dean Ambrose because I think Seth is gonna be built up to take Brock on if Corbin does win. I think Ambrose will be the new IC champ here. I'm gonna go Ambrose. Next match, the new Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. Fred, who do you have? AJ, I will never cheer for or vote for Daniel Bryan ever. Yeah, you are Go not you are not his biggest fan, are you? Nope. Now, Fred, I know you're going AJ here, but mm -hmm. do you think that's the sensible option? Yes. Bryan's 100%. just won the belt. AJ Styles, baby, let's this go. This is Dan the new Daniel Bryan's first ever title defense. AJ Styles, baby, let's go. Um, as soon as I type it down, like I like I confirm it. There's no going back. That's fine, bro. AJ Styles, right? All right, it down. all right, all right. Flame, tell me why Power you think. Jones, baby. Flame, tell me why you think Daniel Bryan is gonna retain. Sorry, I mean, who do you think's gonna win and why? Daniel Bryan, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's doing some of the best work of his career right now. Like this heel turns. I think it's completely revitalized this character. Yeah. And I actually care about him for the first time. Whoa. Yikes. A bloody long time. Agreed. So he's literally just won the title. Yeah. He's and on quite a big hot streak right now. Definitely. AJ had a boring run with the title. So I don't see the not, not the first half, the second half, but the, I thought the first yeah. half was alright. Well, anything, I mean, if you go up against Samoa Joe ten times in a if row. If anything, true. I don't see AJ winning the double. Championship because I expect him to go to Raw and maybe face Lesnar at WrestleMania. I think AJ wants a part time contract now, so I don't, I, I don't, I don't see it at all. I definitely don't see them making the new Brian lose on his first title defense. So I'm gonna go the new Daniel Bryan. They should It'll actually make, make it. To be honest. They should actually add the new in front of his name. I think that'd be great. Now, the final match, or is it? No, I think we've got one more. No, this is the final match. Damn, Charlotte, Asuka, and Becky. I'll go first on this one. I think Becky Lynch is going to retain her title. Fred, who do you think is going to win? I'm going with the fucking man. The man? I'm go oh, yeah. I'll just write down yeah. the man. Um, the man. Yep. The man. Um, so interesting. We we all went with a third option, but so far we're the same. Flame, do you agree with us? Look, the hottest thing in the company right now, Becky Lynch. At WrestleMania, they're more than likely they're going to do a champion, champion thing with Ronda and Becky. Still, any Becky's definitely not losing the title. Okay. It's going to be probably the best match of the night. Can't wait again. Who's the least likely to win? Asuka. I think Charlotte. She's just there to eat the pin. You think so? I disagree, man. Look, Asuka's they... definitely gonna eat the pin, dude. There's no way she's not. I don't think anyone's. I don't. I don't think anyone's taking the pin. Really? Mhm. Mm They're gonna grab the title. Is it? A, is it like an old-fashioned TLC, or is it just like a? Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought it was like one of those ones where like. Now, yeah, we know had those TLCs though. Sometimes you have TLCs with pinfalls. I think Corbin and uh, yeah. and and um, Braun will be because that's a TLC match. But I think that will be a pinfall. The three v three was also what was in that last year. Right. The, so uh, yeah. makeshift sure shield. Yeah. That was TLC two thousand eighteen. That was our predictions for it. Um, something I didn't say, but there will be a kind of punishment to this video, and that is the loser. Well, you know what? You'll just have to see, actually, because if I say what's going to be the punishment, it won't be as funny. So I'll let you guys know in a future video um, the outcome and the punishment. Hopefully I don't lose. By the predictions, my prediction for the loser is going to be Fred. I'm sorry, man. I'm definitely going to win, 100%. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you sub, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Peace!